going on guys morning boys on 1000 <laughs> um, I'm just waiting on my taxi to get here so I can get down to the dock to catch the boat to go to St. Thomas so I can catch my flight my flight is around 3 something but I have to catch a 9 something boat because I'm gonna be on time my period is about to come so I have my period bumps for the most part I'm done packing hopefully my bag isn't overweight I really hate packing with a passion I'm so hungry and the man already outside uh, we told him a tati Pana is on time I have these rice cakes wait wait it's too much every time I have to travel <laughs> second yeah i'm still so tired i got in around 12 30 last night i'm in the dmv area right now i'm in maryland i'm staying with a friend a very close friend we went to high school together so i'll be here for a while i wanted a new environment different scenery from this point on i don't know my next moves i don't know I don't really know what I'm doing, but basically doing nothing doesn't help. I'm just taking a lot of risks. I can't even talk while well, following my intuition, following my gut, and being as fearless as possible. Went to school, graduated. After my time was up in Georgia, stayed in Georgia after I graduated on a work authorization where I was allowed a year to work in the States after I graduated and it didn't things didn't go as planned. I need to write a book because your girl has been through a lot. But somehow I still managed to keep going and if I disappear a lot just understand like your girl is going through some times and needs some time. Yeah so after I came back home the options were to find a job or start my own business. If you guys keep up with me, you would know that um, I did personal training. So it would make sense for me to go in that route, you know. And it didn't really work out how I wanted it to or how I planned for it to. And it necessarily wasn't a fail. Fitness world or the fitness aspect isn't as popular in the the British Virgin Islands where I'm from so people don't really want to pay or people would only pay so much and what they would pay I cannot no <laughs> I went to school I got a degree I have experience I have internship experience I have work experience you cannot pay me chump change it 
definitely was feasible to me because it didn't change much from what from what I was charging in the state and my clientele were mostly college students so now I'm dealing with adults who don't want to pay and people already don't take it serious so people would not take my time serious I mean there's so much more to the story and I just I just didn't want to settle and another thing again was the gym situation and I still don't have a car so your girl is really like really trying to move up in life getting around would be hard so we have different areas and you have gyms in different areas and the gyms were either not up to speed in terms of cleanliness prices like they had some ridiculous prices the hours are ridiculous and the rules are ridiculous so it's like i had so many factors working against me but i still tried to make it work and i really had to come i had to come to my senses like this isn't really working out or it's not going to fulfill fulfill me in a way that i can progress you know and I feel like in life, you should always be moving up. Sometimes you will go back down, but at least you'll be fulfilled even if you're down. But it, I, don't, I don't feel like that was the case. I feel like everything happens exactly how it's supposed to. I've been in situations where I would blame myself for not following my gut and following my intuition. Where I would get so depressed and so angry and not accomplish things that I know I could have if I just stayed true to what I believed in and what I wanted for myself and not what others wanted for me. So even with that kind of mindset, it has also put a drain on my friendships and my family ships. That's not a word, but I'm not that close with my family members. Because honestly, I feel like sometimes it's so hard to relate because you you believe in yourself so much and you have all these dreams that you are willing to work towards and people just don't get it. So many other things that I don't want to talk about or even say, but the people that you would think should always be there for you and encourage you usually end up being the ones to detour you from or try to detour you from being positive about certain situations that you were put in and i'm losing my voice but i'm not gonna give up and i'm gonna keep praying and hoping for the best and i get emotional so quick like i hate talking about what's going on in my life because like i get so emotional camera what are you doing I just came from exploring and I got some stuff. So I'm about to show you guys what I got. Yeah. So I got this protein pancake and waffle mix. Breakfast items. The goat, <laughs> quick oats. An exfoliating body cloth. I exfoliate my skin every day. And I have a detoxing charcoal. And my belly is hurting me. And black sugar mud mask. Because you guys know, well, if you watched my acne story video, my, my pores get clogged pretty quickly. And usually when you travel on the airport, all the germs and dirt. And, and I also went to the beauty supply store because I did not bring any of my beauty products with me. Well, hair products. And as usual, we're gonna bust the bag because ain't nobody got a time for that. Got me a spray bottle. Some black soap to bathe with. Because I usually like to keep the soaps that I bathe with pretty natural because I have sensitive skin. And African shea butter for my hair and my skin. An eyebrow pencil that I 
do my usually do my brows with shampoo and conditioner from tea tree no from lad giovanni wow so i have the deep moisture shampoo and the wow i thought i got the actual conditioner i got the leave in oh ja 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 no. i mean i love this product i used this on before the direct leave-in i haven't used this shampoo as yet but i needed a conditioner but for real though i really need to get to the mall so i can get my laptop fixed so my friend works she has a nine to five so i'm i'm going to do all the exploring by myself i mean i lived in georgia for four years and i eventually had to learn the bus route and had to maneuver my way around by myself i didn't live with family so i'll figure it out i don't know if i'm gonna do that today though but i'm about to eat and chill but i usually i feel i feel i cannot stay still i have to be doing something i have to get my laptop fixed so i can film and edit videos everything is just going through it right now look at like you hear a crunch so i'm going to use the deep moisture shampoo along with figuring out the bus route found me a walmart got some suave moisturizing conditioner not the most natural but honestly at this point i have too much hair to be worrying about the ingredients at this point it was cute when i didn't have much hair on my head but now <laughs> this be stressing me out <laughs> I made it to the mall and I already went to the Mac store. I have to wait for about three hours to get service. So I'm just up and down in the mall walking about. I like these. I need some boots, some shoes, because I only brought my sneakers. I'm in Cheesecake Factory. So I had an appointment for six with the tech and Apple and basically have to wait until eight. So I'm here all day. So I'm about to get something to eat because I'm hungry. This is my second time eating at Cheesecake Factory. what they have to say because they said that they needed to do some further diagnostics I can't remember said the word diagnostics I'm just gonna see what they have to say to me today I have to come back tomorrow and the only reason they couldn't call me and tell me that is because I don't have an active US phone number I don't know when was the last time I ate an actual boredom. So, I'm gonna enjoy this before I start back working out. Which probably will be next week. Okay, so we gotta do this again. Um, I have to head back down to the mall. Guys, I'm over it. <laughs> my period has my face breaking out really bad. 
I have cramps. <laughs> I'm irritated. So hopefully everything is fixed and properly fixed so I don't have to head back down again because I'm tired of this commute. So that's what we're going to do. I'm getting ready to leave. I just have some conditioner in my hair and I just laid my edges. I don't want to put in any gel or anything. And she is back. Ooh.